before uh, we bring on Adnan and play our movie game, what's going on with Marty Smith? Oh, man. So Marty put up this video of him. It seems like his kids might have a snow day today, so he's outside playing with the kids oh. in the snow. Oh, wow. Oh, what a Marty's, treat. For real. Marty Smith Marty. is the guy that I would most want to have a snow day with. And I don't like the snow. But if Marty's there and we're, like, sledding, oh, I would go. Are you saying, guys at ESPN, you would most want to have a snow day with? Well, yeah. There's Okay, so for later on. Or are you on, just saying in general? Oh, in general. Because Ma- if you make it ESPN, it's Marty Smith. It's right. definitely Marty Smith. He would be the guy. For that, outdoor snow day for fun. Outdoor, for indoor snow day fun? What is, oh, like just watch the movie? If you want to sit around, have a glass of wine, yeah. maybe the Coco. fireplace, have someone tell some great stories. Good I'm thinking Bob Lee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bob Lee. Yeah. Bob Lee. But the outdoor, <laughs> the outdoor snow day is Marty Smith. Marty, I think hmm. Tebow might be fun in the snow Oh, Tebow would be great. Tebow? Yeah, but I don't know how, how used to snow he is. <laughs> right, because he's from Florida. Uh, Mina would be a disaster. Yeah, I hate snow. I hate, I hate, I'm, I'm cold in here. You think I'm okay in snow? Right, exactly. Adnan would be fun in the snow. I think he would, and he's on the uh, Shell Pennzoil performance hey. line because we're going to play this movie game. Uh, Adnan, person at ESPN, if you had a snow day when you were a kid, go back to your childhood, okay? But you can only use the people who are working at ESPN right now. So the person at ESPN, you're from Canada, you had snow days. The person at ESPN you would most want to have a snow day with. No brainer, Stu. It's going to be my boy, Jesse Palmer, fellow Canadian, grew wow. up in the Pan, Ontario. Wow. Jesse's a quarterback. He's yeah. got a great arm. He's yeah. used to the snow. He can handle the elements. Yeah. NFL rules will rim play. You are He's good. the best. You are good. You Jesse know. probably makes a mean snowman. Yeah, he definitely does. I, listen, you listen. everyone went Marty Smith, and then you come in with Jesse Palmer, and I think you're right. Marty Smith's not even from a snowy area. I feel like we we clowned ourselves here. Maybe. No, but I feel like Marty would be so enthused and overwhelmed with the snow and it just oh, happening that it'd right. be like a childish yeah. charm. You like know? when a puppy sees snow right. for the first time yes. and they, right. they prance around. Like Marty's getting on the sleigh with you. He's not just pushing you on the sleigh. He's jumping on the sleigh with you. Right. He right. seems to be the only adult there just pushing okay. around all the neighborhood kids. Counter- counterpoint, though, he would want to stay outside for too long. Perhaps. Yeah, you'd get sick if you played yeah. in the snow with Marty. Right. Snow, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's jump in the lake. No, Marty. I love no, this. No. <laughs> Marty, that lake is frozen. <laughs> All right, so Adnan, do you know what we're doing here? Do you understand the game that we're playing here? Do you want me to explain it to you? I'll have to explain it to the audience anyway, so I might as well explain it to you. Okay. Yes, it's fine. I, I'm, I, I know Mina lies about seeing movies to be part of conversation, Never. which I don't think is a bad – that's not a bad trait, necessarily, by the way, Mina. I think that, listen, you want to be a part of the conversation, that's cool. But, yeah. Go ahead, to explain it for everybody. Never, All right. never done it, but yeah. So Mike Ryan and I were talking about Point Break. Dan was out, and Mina was jumping into the conversation like she had seen Point Break as many times as Mike and I had seen Point Break and loved it the same way that Mike and I loved that movie. So, Great. And then she revealed to us a couple of weeks later that she had never seen the movie. And she's a movie liar. So we, from there, Adnan, we played a game. We gave Mina a list of movies, and she gave us some details about the movie, and we had to decide whether or not she has actually seen the movie. And it was I love a, it. It was a great segment, but we have stepped it up a notch because you are a movie expert. Promote the, uh, promote the podcast. Go ahead. Thank you, buddy. Latest in the file debuted today, and your guy, Tracy Letts from nice. Lady Bird. He nice. plays the Ooh. father of Lady Bird. Interview with him. He's also in uh, The Post. So he tells stories about Spielberg, Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep. But, of course, Saoirse Ronan, Greta Gerwig, Lady Bird, what that movie's all about. So, yeah, Cinephile, mm-hmm. ESPN app, iTunes. Yep. Thank you, Stu. Yep. He really crushed it as Larry, man, I got to tell you. So what happened is, so now I have a list of movies, okay? We have no, no one in this studio, Adnan, knows whether or not Mina has seen these movies. I've seen all of them. Perfect. I am, I am the human movie lie detector. I and love this. That's why we stepped it up a notch because, you know, if she can get it past you, she can get it past anyone. It's been a while. <laughs> These movies are old, and it's been a long time since I've seen some. I've seen all of them, but it's been a while. All right, so I have the list in front of me, Adnan. I'm going to read the list to you. You choose the movie you want her to review, and then we will all decide <laughs> together whether or not, based on that information, whether or not she's actually seen the movie. You ready? I want to preface you by saying this is either going to be a runaway hit or a disaster. But I mean, either way. We've done it do once, it. and it was a runaway hit. So that's all. If it's a disaster, it's on you. <laughs> okay? Totally fair. All right, here sure. we go. Here, here's the list to choose from. It, Mother, Tango and Cash, RoboCop, Face Off, 300, Waterworld, Hell or High Water, Mad Max, or Air Bud. Choose one, Adnan. F- face Off. All right, Favorite Face Off. Favorite being you and Mike Ryan. Right. Everybody's yeah. seen Face Off. Uh, so Face Off, Travolta, Cage, uh, in the beginning of the movie, uh, Cage, who's the cop, he, 
kills he almost he kills his brother Travolta's brother Travolta later on traps him as revenge and pardon me Cage traps him later it's confusing because you know the, they switch yeah, the face faces off, yes they switch faces then uh, Cage as Travolta lives as Travolta I think he maybe has sex with his wife at some point then they switch he takes his face and there's a shootout at the end it's a really good movie. All right, so Guillermo, did uh, did Mina Kimes see Face Off? She saw Face Off. Okay, Fat Chris, did Mina Kimes see Face Off? No. Roy, has Mina Kimes seen Face Off? No. I'm going to go yes on Face Off. Adnan, go ahead. I think because she knows that he had sex with his wife, I'm going to say yes. I have seen Face Off. Oh, yeah. wow. I, Excellent. It's John Woo, right? I love those. <laughs> John Woo. Yeah. Yes. Wow. The Rock. Royal, the killer. All right. Yeah. So, uh, My countryman. All right. So Face Off's off the list. Adam, I'm going to give you a couple movies here. Uh, Tango and Cash, RoboCop, Hell or High Water. Pick from one of those three. Hell or High Water. All right. Go ahead, Mina. That's a recent Oscar contender. Um, she has Chris Pine is it? Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Can, hold hold on a second. How did you know so quickly? How? I can tell by the hesitation. She's lying, but go ahead, man. Do your best. All right, go ahead. Chris finds in it. It's these brothers who are outlaws. They rob banks. One of them dies. One of them lives. Gets away with it to the end. Chris Pine gets away with it. All right, Roy, has uh, Mina Kimes seen Hell or High Water? No. Uh, Guillermo? She has not. Fat Chris? Nope. Uh, Adnan already says no. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Who's seen Hell or High Water? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody has seen that. No one's seen that movie. And then how'd you know so quickly, man? I know. It was amazing. What's your tell? Jeff, Jeff Bridges is the best part of that. Jeff Bridges is the best part of that movie. The first word that ever mouth should have been Jeff Bridges is unbelievable. He plays the sheriff chasing his brothers. Nobody cares about the brothers. Bridges is the best. The All fact right. she didn't leave with him, that's how I knew. All right. All right. I mean, Jeff, by the way, Bridges, friend of the show. He was great with you guys. Yeah, he was fantastic. But Bridges is always the best part of any movie he's in, right? Yeah, absolutely. I love that guy. I love the fact you can dance and turn ask him about other movies. He just can hype up his own movie, the new one. I know. Yes, exactly. Never going to see that. All right, here we go, Adnan. Uh, Tango and Cash. You know what? I'm going to choose this one. Tango and Cash. Go ahead, Mina. Oh, this came out a long time ago. I saw when my mom rented it from the library. So I actually do remember it's a buddy comedy. It's like kind of weird because it's like kind of a comedy, but kind of not. These two cops are in prison. They get out of prison. One of the cops dates the other cop's sister. Um, the villain who tries to kill him in prison and all culminates in a showdown at the end. All right, Roy, has uh, Mina Kimes seen Tango and Cash? No. Uh, Guillermo, has uh, Mina Kimes seen Tango and Cash? No. What? That Chris? That this... library detail doesn't fool anyone. She hasn't seen it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say that she has seen Tango and Cash. Adnan? Yeah, has not seen it. I don't even know. The Tango and what? <laughs> cash? <laughs> Is that the names of the... Tango and Cash, I thought yes. those were... Why the hell? Hey, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm dying... What? Here and Adnan is on the show. Why is Adnan on the show? Get out of here! Go to commercial break. 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 Go to commerc